In the last video, I showed you how to draw lanes by connecting between different points. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect between these points, but instead of straight lanes, how to draw curves. So we are starting from the last code. And here to start drawing a curve, we have to use something called a path. And to start drawing a pan, we have to first move it to the initial position, which will be the very first position inside of our points list. So we are going to say, and then we have to start our path from the first point x and y position. And now what we are going to do is start a loop, which will take in the very next point and go all the way till the n minus two points, depending upon how many number of points we have in the list. Now. Let me tell you what a quadratic basic curve is. It is like a path between two points that you design the start and end point. But instead of going straight or drawing a straight line between these two points, it takes a detour towards the destination. So you can imagine it is like a curve from the start point to the end point. Now in Flutter, when you're using the custom pane merchant and want to draw a curve, there are a couple of ways to do it and in this video what i'm showing you is the method called quadratic Bezier 2. this method helps you draw a smooth curve from one point to another taking a detour by something called as a control point now this function needs four input and as per the documentation you can see that it takes in x1 y1 and x2 y2 x1 y1 are the coordinates of the control point this is the point that your curve will bend to us and x2, y2 are the coordinates of the end point. This is where the curve will end. So basically when you call this quadratic basic 2 method, it draws a curve from the current point bending towards the x1 and y1. So the one thing you have to notice is that it, the curve wouldn't pass through the control point, it just bends towards it. Now after our loop, we still need to take care of joining the already drawn part towards the last point inside our points list. In order to do that, we have to again call the quadratic Bezier 2 method and pass in the relevant points. And at the end, you can see now we have a curve connecting all the points we have mentioned in the points list. And if I add another point to the points list, you can see that it is also drawing. And this is one way in which you can draw a curve in Flutter custom paint.